Macron. Europe faces unprecedented crisis due to Ukraine conflict. Europe is going through an unprecedented crisis due to the situation around Ukraine, French President Emmanuel Macron said in an interview with Spain's El País newspaper published. There is an unprecedented crisis because war is returning to the continent, he pointed out. The direct and indirect consequences of the conflict are having a strong impact on the economic model, Macron added. The answer lies in a Europe sovereign in terms of the economy, technology and defense. In other words, in a really powerful Europe, the French president noted. According to him, European democracies are suffering from a crisis, experiencing a kind of fatigue and a loss of collective focus. Macron also emphasized that in crisis situations, extremes and demagogy work better because they send a simple message, promising to restore control. I believe that we need to restore control in the world, Macron added. Before this Russian foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova warned that Russia finds plans by the French government to supply heavy armored vehicles to Ukraine a reckless move that may escalate things further. We view as reckless and irresponsible the moves by French authorities in the context of the Ukrainian crisis. The decision on further weapons supplies to Ukraine is yet another step that would provoke further escalation of the conflict and cause more deaths including among civilians in the new Russian regions which have already been attacked by French weapons, specifically the Caesar artillery system. To her, the provocative decision by France to supply the Kiev regime with French-made light tanks is like opening Pandora's box even wider and pushing France deeper into the conflict. Paris's policy of thoughtlessly beefing up Ukraine's military muscle has exposed the shamelessness and duplicity of its professed desire to avoid an escalation of the conflict and statements about the need to maintain a dialogue with Russia and take a serious attitude towards Moscow's demands for security guarantees, she said.